Oh, it's a great pass. Oh, no luck. Great save. He'll get the interception. What a save, Dada! Oh, Dada! What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another brand new series that we're going to be doing here. So a lot of people have been asking me for my top 10 lists and top 7 lists and all this of the best players per position, per budget. So we are starting with the goalkeepers. I did this for eFootball 22, and now we are going to be doing it for eFootball 2023. So first up for the goalkeepers is this guy, Absolute Beast, Ochoa from Club America, the Mexican keeper. Tipping on in the age now, lads, he's 37 years of age, but for 22,000 GP, he is the budget option you should be getting if you are a newcomer and you don't want to spend too much on a goalkeeper. This is my recommended training guide. All these videos will have a recommended training guide as well as, you know, keeping in mind the budget and how these players can be trained up effectively. And this is the training guide if you want to pause it there on that and train him up exactly. That is the best version of him, in my opinion. Next up, we have got Costa. This guy is an absolute beast as well, Porto's and Portugal's keeper. A really, really good play, uh, keeper. And you can see here that he does have reflexes. I mean, the big thing you want to look for when you are looking for a goalkeeper is getting that goalkeeper reflexes stat up over 90. Anything over 90. And if you can get the goalkeeper awareness as high as possible as well. Don't worry about catching and don't worry about clearing too much. They're the two stats that you don't really need. Um, obviously, the taller the keeper is then as well, the less you need to worry about the goalkeeper's reach. But I would say from hundreds of hours of testing, awareness and reflexes are key. We've also got our third choice keeper for 120,000, which is Bonu. This guy is a monster as well. He had a really good World Cup. And obviously, that's where a lot of people have come to take notice of him. And this is my training guide for him he goes up to a 91 overall 90 reflexes 89 awareness but this guy is just so so big lads he's such a big unit obviously not as tall as some of the guys later on in this list but he is an absolute monster between the sticks and he has all the stats that you could want the one thing that i dislike is his clearing which is 80 but you don't need to worry too much about that but he does have unwavering form as well and for 120,000, it's pretty decent we've also got AC Milan's Mignan this guy is probably one of the favorite players of of many people I see a lot of people using the free version of this guy with the French pack but you can train him up very similar to what I have trained him here he goes to a 92 obviously if you have the French free version of him uh, which would have came a couple of weeks back with the free login bonus 90 reflexes his uh his clearing lets him down but as i said you don't need to focus too much on that i think for 170,000, he makes up for it he just seems to always get on the end of stuff we've also got navas so navas is not is not even the first choice at psg lads we do have that honor going to donna my favorite keeper who will feature in a second but this guy anytime i come up against him man he is giving me problems i find him very very difficult to beat and if you look at his jump awareness and reflexes they're all fairly high now he's not the the tallest keeper um compared to some of the other lads like he's given away maybe 10 centimeters on some of the best keepers in the game so you do need to have that reach over 80 and that is probably the one thing on this card that you do need to probably focus on a little bit more than normal now he was also a different version of him there uh, other than the standard version but we are sticking to just gp for this so that anyone you know can dip in and dip out of this now my second favorite keeper lads is summer he's not the most expensive but his stats are insane he's 183 centimeters so similar to navas he's not the tallest keeper so you are going to need to keep that in mind he's not going to be the best under a high ball on corners you will concede a couple on corners but look at that 90 jump 90 awareness and 90 reflexes as well as that lads you are going to have a player that's quite cheap to get a player with those stats that cheap is very very decent he's also got unwavering form and on top of that you're not going to have to, you know, you are, look, you're going to concede with no matter what goalie that you have. That's just going to happen because it's it's eFootball. But this guy for under, you know, 100 and what, 20,000 or whatever he is, is unreal. And then last but not least, we have Donna Roma. We've won more after Donna, but it's for a no budget uh, if you've got loads of GP. I think Donna Roma is the best keeper. Look at the height, right? 196. He's also got low punt and long throw as well as goalkeeper uh, saver, penalty saver. So he's got the two best player skills. Long throw is really effective if you play quick counter or long ball counter to start quick counters. And low punt is really good for good kickouts as well. And when we train him up, we actually train him up to a 94 overall. Now, the Italian version of this card is probably the best keeper in the game like bar none i would say donnarumma is my favorite keeper i've used a lot of keepers i've used can i've used neuer i've used oblak i've used courtois i've used 
pretty much everybody. I've even used Dida on my Xbox account, and I still always come back to standard version Donnarumma. I still don't have the Italian version of him, but anytime I come up against him, he makes point blank saves. He saved me. You saw at the very start of, the, of this video, the saves he makes are just unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. And that is going to be the, the best keeper that you can buy. And I mean, we'll show you this clip here again. Like, he's just absolutely insane, lads. Every time that he gets on the ball, he makes these like he makes these types of saves. And this is what you're looking for in a keeper, is to give you that chance when you are beaten. Because you are going to concede goals. There's no doubt about it. You are going to concede goals. But, I mean, there's nothing I do there. It's just all the AI. Now, we do also have a look at Oblak. I know that Courtois, uh, we haven't included him in this either. But Courtois, look, all these keepers that you're going to be spending 400000 plus. Um, or around that 300,000 plus mark are going to be very decent. Oblak has got insane stats. I personally don't think he's worth the extra money ahead of Donna. I think Donna is the best keeper that you do. You don't need anybody else, really, if you're playing with Donna. Um, but Oblak does suit quick counter players, which is, you know, a very, very meta formation. He goes up to a 94 all, uh, as well. 90 with the awareness and 90 reflexes. So I still don't think he's as good as Donna. But that is it for my top list of goalkeepers for any budget don't forget to subscribe up next we will have left backs followed by right backs and then center backs and working our way through the formation let me know if you've got any suggestions until next time lads peace